Hello and welcome back. Today we are doing part two of the properties of real numbers. So what we're going to do is look at a few expressions and see if we can determine which of the properties actually apply to the expression. So pause the video for a few moments and see if you can figure, figure this out. Okay, let's continue. First of all, remember that the associative property and the commutative property apply to addition and multiplication. And they are the only two that you're going to see like that. Okay. So the first expression says 8 plus 5 plus x equals 8 plus 5 plus x. And we see between the left side and the right side of the equal sign, the only difference is that the parentheses were moved. They were around the 5 and the x, and then they just shifted left, so they're around the first two numbers, 8 and 5. So what we have here, um, you can think of it like this. Nothing moved. None of the numbers or the variable moved. The only thing that moved was something that doesn't have a value and that's just the grouping symbol. So think of it like an association. The association is the only thing that changed. At first these two numbers 5 and the variable x were associated and now these other two numbers 8 and 5 are associated instead. So what we're looking at is the associative property there's nothing but addition and plus signs in between everything, just plus, plus, plus. So this would be the associative property of addition. Let me move that up. Oh, in fact, I could. Let me just write that. associative. Okay, let's do the next one. We had the, pr the parentheses um, were around 7 times x and on this side it's still 7 times x so 7 times x and still on the other side 7 times x. So the association hasn't changed. There is still a grouping association um, between 7 and x. Okay, so what did change? Well, it looks like the numbers uh, have moved around. If you, if you look at it like this way, one term is the 7 times x and the second term is the 10. Okay, so the terms switched places, but in fact the value um, did not change at all. So we're looking at the commutative property. And commutative property is like when things move. You know, it's like um, if you're standing in line, if there's a line, there's five people in line, and uh, no matter how it changes, everyone can change places in the line. The f the first person can go to the last place. The last person can go to the first space. The second and third um, in line can switch places. But the fact of the matter is, all of the same people are still all in one line. So that's commutative. It's like the way things uh, the way things are moved. So the the brackets did not move. This is still the same term. You have a term in here. Well, the brackets have these uh, the 7 and the x together, so you can think of that as one term. You can think of this as, as another separate term. So the terms have not changed because the brackets, the parentheses, are still around the same exact terms. But you've just switched the order of the terms is all that you did. And um, the value is the same on the left of the equal sign as it is 
on the right of the equal sign. Okay, so that was the commutative. And we were doing multiplication, so the official name would be commutative property of multiplication, but you will still get the answer right if you just say commutative. Okay, so let's look at the next one. Okay, 7x plus 2 plus 14xy equals 7x times 1 plus 2y plus 2. So, are there any terms the same on the left and right side of the equal sign? And the fact of the matter is, two of them are the same. You have the 7x on the left, you have 7x on the right, you have 2 on the left, you have a 2 on the right. So what happened? Well, what happened was, and it's kind of hard to see it because it's already been distributed, <laughs> but um, the 7, in the first example, the 7 was distributed. Um, it was distributed into this one, and it was distributed into this 2y. So you have to think backwards. You have to figure out that 14 equals 7 times 2 and have to conclude, oh, okay, this on, on the right-hand side, this must be the before. And on the left-hand side, this must be the after it was distributed. Okay, so 7x times 1 equals 7x. 7x times 2y equals a positive 14xy. Okay, so that's what you get. And the only thing left over after you distribute is a 2. Okay, and look at the left. The 2 is in the second, uh, second position on the left, and the 2 is in the last position on the right. So we, know, we identified already that the distributive property was taking place over here. Okay, in order to give us the same exact three terms on the left. Okay, but why are the terms not in the same order? They're not in the same order because... This is an example of when you see two properties applied at the same time. So while we have the distributive property, um, the 7 multiplied into the 1 uh, and the 7 multiplied into the 2y is what gave us the 7x, gave us the 7x here, and it gave us the 14xy. But the 2 is in a different space because it's the commutative property. You remember when I said if it's the same five people in line and they all switched places and they all stood in a different spot, it's still the same five people and it's basically still the same line. So um, this is one where the answer would be distributive and commutative. Okay, um, and I think we have another one also where there are two properties in it, so let's do the last one. Okay, we have 2x times 3y times 4y equals 3y times 4y times 2x. Okay, so one of the first things I notice here are that the grouping has changed. And you remember when we, when we change the group that we're in, that's an association that we're changing. So we know first off that one of them has to be the associative property. Um, whereas we have 2x grouped with 3y over here. Instead, we have the 3y grouped with the 4y. But we also notice something is funny because the 4 was in the last spot over here on the left. And now the 2x is in the last spot. So we have the same 3. 
I guess you could call them numbers, right? But the terms are different. The term was 2x plus 3y, and then the second term was 4y. Now the first term is 3y plus 4y. The second term is 2x, and they're in the wrong order. So we know that there's an associative. And it looks like there's also commutative because um, the 2 was first right here. What is wrong with my handwriting? Okay, and now it's last. Okay, so associative and commutative. And that's it. And I think the hardest ones are going to be um, are going to be the ones where there's more than one property because you just have to be able to see um, what's going on but the first thing I would start with is the grouping okay are the numbers grouped exactly the same way if they're not grouped the same way it's, it looks like an associative issue and then look um, at the order has the order been changed you know at all and if the order has been changed and that's a commutative thing does it look like anything was multiplied you know d does it look like anything was multiplied if if so then something was distributed and so forth and so on and all it takes is practice and pretty soon you will be ready for your exam Okay, well, that's it for today. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'm not sure if we're going to stick with algebraic expressions or not, but I guarantee it'll be a great video. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.